What's up, shout out, me, Fredrick Hill, and welcome to Let Me Read Your Comments. Some all of that. But we kind of got a mystery on our hands. Because, um, there's something that happened to one of the people that's in the comments, and I took a screenshot of it, so. But, uh, that was coming to mind of Detective Pikachu. I love that movie. Y'all need to go watch it. If y'all haven't already. If you have, good on you. If you haven't, then you might want to go watch it because it's funny as hell. But theory is, uh, I lost my flipping game theory pen during school and I'm salty. Boy, I bet those pens are all expensive. Because game theory, he's, he's on up though. But his pens, I don't know. Let me actually check that. One of those bad boys will be four ninety nine. I think. Right? Yeah, this is what you get at. I'm pretty sure anyways. That's blame it. He's got a lot of shit. But anyways, yeah, that's where you would get that. Cause I don't know why you would want to Oh fuck. Fuck something up. <laughs> but that's where you would want to get it. And they ain't cheap, so I hope you find it. <laughs> Any of you remember Fridays with PewDiePie? And really, that was the only day that you knew uh, what day it was, like when you was at school or whatever. And you look down and you seen that notification. Oh, fuck. Good times. That was amazing. I miss them. But. I mean, he's doing good now, so I'm not mad or anything, because he's obviously doing amazing. He's he's still a damn good person, and he's making a living, so I'm more proud than ever. Good on you, Felix. But this brings me to the next comment. I'm glad that I grew up with this instead of Logan Paul. Ain't that the damn truth? Because... Holy fuck. Has time changed? Whew. I'd rather grow up with fucking PewDiePie than Logan any day. So many young people watching Logan Paul and Jake Paul. I'm not dissing them, but whew. They, well, they can say the same thing about us. But how they do shit. I don't like it, cause they don't know, they don't know the limit, that's all I'm saying, I'm not trying to get people to get fucking pissed off at me or whatever, but they don't know the limit, so that's all I'm saying. Then, uh, there's this YouTuber, I don't really watch him that much, but I have hold of him, and he seemed like a really nice dude. He says, thank you all so much for all the, of your support. super nice comments and lovely messages. It's been quite overwhelming. I'm glad you guys are as excited as we are for the next chapter in our lives. That's so sweet. Like that will literally bring tears to my fucking eyes. Because he's so humble. Like, he's got so much. But yeah, he's still well ground. And by the way, he they're having a baby. So I wish them the best of luck. They dissolve it. They well well dissolve it. I think they're gonna be good parents and everything. Because he he's an awesome person. Go watch his videos. He needs a support all he can get right now. Please go support him. But that brings me to my boy. Which is the next one. Jack Seth guy. Congrats guys. Happy for you. That's so sweet. You don't see that a lot. YouTubers supporting YouTubers. Because. It's mind blowing that. You can see it. Like you can think about it all you want. But when you see it happen. That's when you know shit gets real. That's when you know that. Well, there's something out there that I want because 
people always bashing YouTube like, oh, it's such a fucking shit platform. No, it's YouTube itself. Don't get fucking wrong. The people are on it, they'll all want to get people on it. But YouTube itself is so fucking shit. It's not even funny. So don't point them out too. So I hope that cleared up some of the things that you was wondering about. Because it fucking irritates me to death. Whoever can pick up the most trash in the ocean in 24 hours win 10k. Are you trying to be Mr. Beast Hill, bud? Because um, that sounds like a challenge. And that's something Mr. Beast would do. The man's so fucking crazy, he just sold 12 fucking cars. And a car lot. And uh, he didn't blink a fucking eye. He just gave them for free. And gave them money. That dude... That do is what I want to be. That's humble. That's sweet. You won't get that. A lot. You will get knocked down on your face. But you won't get that. I love that type of shit. I want to be that. If I had the money, goddamn. Trust me. If I had the money, I would be fucking blowing like Mr. Beast and all of them. To support, to help, to give back, basically. Because I can't fucking sit there and be like, oh, look at this. Now I'll be a fucking Jake Paul and Logan Paul then. Fucking doing nothing with my life. I fucking can't stand that shit. It pisses me off. By the way, does the boy. Uh, he's cool as fuck. He is. Go subscribe. Subscribe or I'll kick you in the face. I mean, sounds like a pretty good deal to me. I get kicked in the face from Mr. Beast if I subscribe. Shit, I take that. Kick me in my face. Drop kick the fuck out of me. Yes, I know what it says. Subscribe or I will kick you in the face. Shh. Shut the fuck up. Let me have my moment. But. I would love to do one of his challenge. He's such an awesome person. Would one of you do any of his challenge? Like pick one of his challenge. And tell me down below which one you would die. Me personally. I would do a lot of them. Oh yeah staying at the asylum. I would love to do that. I love haunted places. I don't know why, but I love haunted places. So, no joke. I will ran up in that bitch. I'm not even joking. I won't. I would love to stay, though. They didn't stay there for only 24 hours. But I would love to. Because that shit you don't get. And that's why I love that. So, keep on moving, Mr. Beast. You'll become one of the greatest. So, I hope the best for you, and I hope you keep grinding. This is the second to the last one, I do believe. Don't get pissed off if it's not, so hang on. I feel so bad for Half-Life fans. They've been waiting longer than Kingdom Hulk fans. Ain't that the damn truth. I was, I love Half-Life, and Half-Life 2, wasn't it? Yeah. And I love them. But. God damn. I thought they was going to come out with a sequel. Like a next one. Like. Three, four, five years later. Yes I was young. But I didn't kill. I wanted the game. I played the hell out of that game. But yet. I didn't see it. So. It just kind of fell off face of the map. I don't know why. Can you please. Please. Make another fucking game. Jeez. I want to fucking play it. I got shit I gotta do. But goddamn, I make time for you. So patch kids have gone too far. They're using real children. Yeah. They'll, they're doing something. 
because uh, something fucking changed. I walk in down cereal aisle because that's all I like eating. I see a fucking thing of cereal from Sour Patch Kids. What the fuck? Then I walked um, to ice cream aisle because my girlfriend was picking out moose tracks. And this was like maybe two weeks before the cereal. Picking out moose tracks or whatever. I see fucking ice cream and fucking Sour Patch Kids right there. So guess what? I got this some bitch. Oh, it was good. Oh, it was good. Whoever has, whoever's always, uh, Sour Patch Kids, you doing something. You up to something. You buy a lot of shit out. I don't know what you're going for next. But you better watch your ass if you ain't Sour Patch Kids, because they coming for your product. They getting their fingers into every damn thing they can get into. Which is not a bad thing, but watch your ass. Run free and dive into the sky. Here going, crying.